this video I will show you how to remove the secrets, uh, some secret strings, user and password combinations uh, from your ASP.NET Core uh, application. So when you scaffold your data model, so then you uh, then you get this uh, context file and there is the SQL Server string and we don't want those strings in the application where there are secrets. So how will we get out of this? Uh, one position is that when you have an application, uh, you have here those connected connected services. This is one solution to get this one. Now, when you click on this, you will see there's a secrets.json local uh, SQL Server Express. So this means when we have the uh, the machine on our own production machine nearby, so we need uh, only to connect it. Um, so this is SQL Server as a local DB. It's on the same place where my machine is and we don't need uh, user password combinations for this, but, but it's possible. And the other way is we have here those, uh, when you click on project, you go here to manage user secrets. So this file is outside the project. It's not here in our project. So even if you go there to our uh, open full pass folder, there, there's nowhere this file. So the, uh, this, <coughs> the string will be placed here on the secrets.json when we hover over it. You see that's C uh, backslash users and then there's the username uh, and then there comes a lot of stuff and come user secrets and then user secrets uh, dot JSON. So this file is outside and uh, it loads those uh, files those, uh, from this uh, blog, from this uh, web host application uh, from the environment. So the environment here is under system uh, somewhere. Um, so this is outside and it first tries to get the values from this file. So we are able to write our stuff outside all the combinations, passwords and all the stuff, secrets. And, uh, and we will place it now in our application. So we do it if we have the SQL Server Express, we do it like this. We go here in the, under our uh, edit dependency. And then we write something like this connection string database, see in a, a label, a title, where a key, how we can find it. And then there's the connection string server. And then there's a lot of bigger, big stuff there. And that's the default, which is in there. So uh, we are able now to, get, to take our stuff from here there from here and we cut it out and we drop it in the other uh, machine. So this should work, but there will be an error after this. And uh, because it only accepts these uh, local stuff. So it says local, uh, local DB means our local machine. You may also write here a dot, but it's overwriting that point. And then we say, uh, SQL Server, uh, uh, SQL Express, that's my machine, the application which is running. So we have this in our the string and we had uh, something with the database. The database was called here, uh, connected true. Um, let's drop this out. The database is called here API rec uh, record. Uh, time records. Yes, and that's it. And now it's loading, it save, saves those values in the secrets.json local. So when I say next, it drops that stuff in. It pay, does something with a NuGet package. I don't know what this is, why it does any stuff with this, and the secret store. So I place it there. And now we have it uh, automatically in our JSON string. Either we go here by this. Uh, we have a look in there. So this is the same what we see here when we go there and say manage, um, manage NuGet package. You see it's the same, ah, excuse me, it was too fast. This one, ah, da, 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 no, manage, no, manage user secrets. Now this is the same string that's uh, just by another way. And then we have the uh, connection strings, double point, uh, and then the key 
and then there is the string which uh, which we have placed in there and there is a uh, here in here we have uh, since it's we need in this stuff in C sharp with a uh, with two lines ah you see that's that's why it's uh, writing this one was wrong in the po this position when we have written it so you have to you see it, uh, we have to replace something in here and we need in the string only uh, if we have only one backslash then we need we need two in the environment we need uh, only one backslash and there's now our string and when we place it we may close it you see and now this is done it's now in that file and we have it now in our in our uh, we may delete it now in our um, we have already deleted it here so now we need the string in here uh, from the connection file see in something yeah you know uh, our secret uh, the key but how does it go there uh, and for this we need the configuration and the configuration either we, we uh, make here a using file in there or we take it we go this way we delete this one from the uh, connection file and as you see there's this is protected override void on configuring this is when we start uh, when we inject the db context and there's an options builder options builder by db context options builder now i deleted that block closing that file now we do the following we always have to uh, when the startup file comes we have to connect the database or the database which is somewhere somewhere and this is usually done by when we say okay something like this uh, ser uh, services at db context and then the model class which is in there so uh, this is by the contact uh, contact is that's the uh, our project under the folder models in this case and uh, here is our our class that's what it does and by default uh, you don't have to do anything if we leave the the stuff which was there and we will do it in this way since we use our, now our secrets I'll go back we don't want it this way we take it this way we say services at db context and now again our model uh, uh, our uh, class and then we say uh, options builder which is the same which we had inside there we say option options builder goes to options builder and then uh, we have those the, the same lines inside uh, that's uh, writing of this inline method uh, option goes to and now we have the inline method uh, options builder use uh, use here this uh, you see now the intelligence is there and you see that it's uh, using the SQL server and for this you need to implement uh, here in the top uh, is the implementing of the configuration that's uh, the configuration comes in here when the system starts it drops here the in the startup it injects the configuration and from this it takes the uh, values out from outside from this uh, secrets JSON and uh, it binds this and we need also the entity framework the entity framework uh, is in you don't you need it in this case for where's my line uh, yeah that is for use SQL Server. So this is under the uh, entity framework. And then we say configuration get connection string. And now we use the configuration. We go to the JSON file, say get connection string, and then we take the CN database. And that's it. So uh, there's no code in our file anymore. Now when I start my, uh, my application, where is it? Here's my application and uh, it's an ASP.NET Core API uh, version. And now when I try here to uh, run that stuff, you will see 
there is an error. <laughs> Something is wrong with it, but uh, it should work. You know, uh, now I have to look up what's what's going on. There's something wrong with it. Uh, maybe it's from the uh, SQL Server, ex SQL Express database. Uh, there, there's something wrong in our string. Well, I will clear that. But uh, as you know, this works. Uh, it says, okay, it gets the value for at this point. Now I make, say, a breakpoint and start this again. And now the debugger will come. Does it, doesn't it come in there? Uh, restart. I'm not sure if I will get it at that point, yeah. And now we are able to get the value at runtime. And in there we will see under the configuration, I, I think I should see it somewhere. There's the secrets JSON file and there are the data and inside the data we have this connection string. So you see uh, it's under in the runtime, it binds the values from this, uh, from this file. And I've written those, uh, that stuff. Ah, no, one, one more thing. When you're now I'm in development system and developer development system. Everything is okay. When you go to the uh, production system, then you have to add this one in the environment. Uh, and they either, if you have a Windows system, that's okay. Then you may do it manually. Otherwise you would do it uh, like this. When you say the .NET commands, when you use the .NET commands, and I've written it somewhere, you will find it in the code. Uh, there you say open the uh, PowerShell or something like this. And then you say .NET uh, user secrets, since you always need .NET in this case, uh, user secrets set uh, connection string, and then you write the same stuff in there. And if you are not in the folder, then you say project folder, and then uh, that's the folder what you need. So this is the same what we have, and this is, there's the point with only one backslash um, in the environment. So even in the environment, you keep all those var variables outside of your project files. And if you like this, then make a thumb up. <laughs>